Now this question, we've got to solve the simultaneous equation 8x minus 5y equals 25 with 6x minus 5y equals 15. Now in this example what I've done is I've made sure that the y terms this time were exactly the same. They're both negative 5y's. And so because these are exactly the same I can eliminate the y terms by subtracting the two equations from one another. So we start off then by labeling the equations 1 and 2. And so what we're going to do is subtract equation 2 from equation 1. 1 minus 2. Always just write something there for the reader to follow. So we have 8x subtract okay the 6x here leaves us with 2x and the y terms get eliminated it comes to 0y I'll show you why because we have minus 5y always take care over this bit minus 5y the first term here and we're going to subtract so put that in the next y term which is minus 5y and the two minuses here are replaced by a plus, so we end up with minus 5y plus 5y. And minus 5y plus 5y is 0, 0y. Zero okay? So the y terms get eliminated if we subtract, because they are exactly the same. Okay, we now move on to the final column here. Very easy, 25 then, subtract the 15 leaves us with 10. And dividing both sides by 2 now gives us x equals 5. Now that we've got one of the values all I need to do as before is substitute x equals 5 into either equation 1 or 2. It doesn't matter which one we do it in should get the same answer. I'm going to choose equation number 1 so we'll say sub in 1 okay and if we do that what do we have? Well, we have 8 times x so that's 8 times the 5 because x was 5 minus 5y equals the 25 tidying this up we therefore have 40 minus 5y equals 25. So what I'm going to do is add 5y to both sides so we have 40 equals 25 plus 5y. Now subtract 25 from both sides and I end up with 40 take away 25 which is 15 equals 5y. Now divide both sides by 5 and you end up with 3 equals y, or in other words, y equals 3. So, to summarize, we therefore have x equals 5 and y equals 3. As I said before, it doesn't matter whether you substitute your x value into equation 1 or 2, you can easily check that this pair of values now works in the second one by just putting x is 5 in here, 6 5's are 30 and y is 3, 5 3's are 15 30 subtract 15 does indeed give 15 so we can see that it works simultaneously in equation 1 and equation 2 so there's our solution then x equals 5, y equals 3